Turning now to Democracy 2014, most of the political races here in Arizona are set for the November election. Among those, the race for Secretary of State. On the Republican side, Michelle Reagan walked away in a three-person race with 43% of that vote. And on the Democratic side, it was a walk-off win for Terry Goddard, the only Democrat running. This morning, Terry Goddard is joining us. Mr. Goddard, thank you so much for being here, especially on a holiday weekend. Happy Labor Day weekend. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're no stranger to Arizona politics, no stranger to Phoenix politics. You were the mayor back in the 80s, and you were also served as the attorney general from 2003 to 2011. So you're running for secretary of state now. If you can, talk to us. Why do you think you're the best person for the job? Well, I think the secretary of state is the chief elections officer, and, and right now Arizona is in a crisis. Uh, a, not many people are participating, and, and independents who are now the biggest group of voters are feeling shut out of the system, and it's up to the Secretary of State to get them back in and get them engaged, and, and there are just too many obstacles to independents voting. The other big problem is dark money, and I'm a prosecutor. I'm a law enforcement uh, expert, and I've spent a great deal of my career going after a different kind of dark money, after money laundering by the cartels. And I think what the Secretary of State is going to have to do to make sure we clean up Arizona politics is to get the dark money, the huge amount of anonymous cash that's been pouring into our elections, get it out of Arizona, make our all contributions transparent. Okay, and in one of your election ads, you actually mentioned how if you're elected, you plan to work with Democrats, Republicans, and independents. How do you plan to accomplish that? Well, this is a big fishbowl, and a lot of people have to be involved to, to, to get a solution in politics in Arizona. And the number one I'm concerned about is the independence. This is where I've spent, uh, in this primary campaign, what I did was put together forums to talk with independents because I think we all need to know why they're not part of the political process, they're not a major party uh, uh, member, and they need to be re-included because an awful lot of important Arizona votes are independent votes. And I think that's up to the Secretary of State to make sure that they come back. And a, a sort of a sidebar question here. We mentioned you're no stranger to Arizona politics. Your father also served as governor. Kind of talk to us. Take us through the history here. How have Arizona politics changed over the last few decades? Well, they've changed a lot, and money is a big part of it. Uh, this last election, uh, there was more money spent in the governor's race than has ever happened in history, over twice what happened in the last cycle. But dark money, I think, is the biggest change. Back in 2010, there was uh, some Supreme Court decisions that opened the door for a different kind of political funding. And all of a sudden, you've got cowards who want to hide behind some kind of a corporate screen and still influence your vote and my vote. And I think that's got to stop. Uh, they basically want to have influence, but they don't know anybody know who they are. And, and anything could happen in a situation like that. It could be a, an offshore corporation, a non-U.S. corporation trying to influence our votes. It could be somebody really insidious that we don't want to support that's trying to influence our votes. It's very important that we know who it is that's behind those dollars. Okay, Terry Goddard, thank you so thank much you. for being with us. And I also would like to mention, we did reach out to Michelle Reagan and her campaign. Unfortunately, was not able to make it here today, but we do have an open invitation to her, and she plans to join us at a later date. So thank you so much for watching, and we will be right back in just a few minutes with another half-hour news.